Hey guys, I didn't get a chance to do any vlogging today. It's been a busy day. And uh, earlier today, I had been messaged on Facebook Messenger and asked to show part of my comic collection. So, for anybody that knows me, I have no order to my comic book collection. It is just randomly thrown in boxes. I know that's horrible. So I just grabbed a random box and I brought it in here. I sat down and I thought, I'll show you, I'll flip through it, I'll grab a few out of here and show you what I've got. A few of my ones that I'm really proud of. Um, one of my favorite, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan by the way. Uh, here we have Ultimate Fallout number four. Uh, this is the first appearance of Miles Morales. It is, as far as I know, it's never been out of this top loader. Other than, I bought it at the store in the top loader. I bought the digital copy and read it that way, so I'm very proud of this. I'd like to send this off to get graded sometime and see, you know, what it comes back as, because uh, I think Miles Morales is a great character and probably about to take off. I think he is getting his own Sony animated show, I believe, but we'll see where that goes. Um, also, the store Hastings. Uh, that just recently went out of business. I went through and I had quite a few that I was able to pick up from Hastings as it was going out of business. I have, uh, I believe this is Scotty Young in Invincible Iron Man uh, variant cover. I mean, these, I literally picked these up for like less than a dollar a piece by the time... Hastings was going out of business. They were up like 80% off on all comic books. Um, here we go with another Invincible Iron Man number one variant cover. Has Deadpool on the front. Um, obviously this is another one that is super favorite of mine. We have X-Men Civil War number one variant cover. Uh, got some Marvel Superhero Secret Wars with the uh, Cyclops uh, variant cover. I don't know how these are turning out in this lighting. I apologize. Uh, Doctor Strange, the action figure cover. I freaking love these covers. These are amazing. I think they, they look really good. And uh, I, I wish I could collect more of them. Now, I, I did dig and found some older ones. Like, um, here we have X-Men 282, first appearance of Bishop. Got that one there. Oh, this one I'm hoping will be made into a TV show or a movie or something someday. Moon Knight, number one. Just incredible character. Deserves way more acknowledgement than what he receives. I think his character is very complex. I think it'd be a great Netflix series, really. Because they would have the time to go through and show the complexity of how he became Moon Knight and what it means to be Moon Knight. You know, it he's not really him. You know, uh, he's kind of possessed by a god, would you say? I don't know. Take that for what you will. I think that's awesome. Um, got some... Oh, what do we have here? Daredevil 184. Got some Frank Miller going on right here. Uh, iconic cover with Daredevil being big right now. I, I love that. Sorry, I had some technical issues. Um, also, we have X-Men number 40. First appearance of Frankenstein. I love this cover. I, I see... I sought. I sought out this book. End up being an eBay buy, but I got a great deal on it, and it is in really good condition for how old it is. Um, we're carrying, continuing on with some more Daredevil, where he meets up with good old Wolverine right here. That is a great book. I, I really enjoyed this one. I, I read this the day I got it. I was like, oh, I have to read this. If you haven't seen Logan yet, you need to go see Logan. It is just really great. Oh. Um, I know a lot of people are probably sick and tired of seeing this one, but is definitely one of my favorites. This is Detective Comics 359, first appearance of Batgirl. This comic has been in my family since it was on the newsstand. It was uh, given to me by my dad. 
out of his collection and I love this. This one will probably be sent out to be uh, pressed, cleaned, and graded here this summer. I'm going to send it off. Uh, I'm, I don't know, what, what's your take on press and cleaning comics? I know some people are against it. I know some people are for it. I know some people just say, nope, it, whatever condition it is, send it to CGC, and that's the way it is. So let me know if you're watching this. Let me know what you think I should do with this book. It's in you know, relatively good condition, I would say. Uh, I, I really love that. I have, uh, let's see, Strange Tales 156 with this amazing Steve Steranko uh, Doctor Strange cover. I love this book. I love the cover. It just pops. The colors are still there for as old as this is. And it just looks really great. We also have another book that is from my father's childhood that he passed on to me. Um, kind of rough condition, but we're looking at Strange Tales 111 here. The second appearance of Doctor Strange. I, I love this book. It is just not only because it's been in my family the whole time, but it, it's Doctor Strange. And it's just Asbestos Man? What, what kind of character is Asbestos Man like? What was the fate of his bestness man? Did and finally we wrap up. We have uh, some amazing Spider-Man 69. I picked this up at where did I get this? I think this uh, I got it at the Comic Con way uh, last year, and I got a really good deal on it. It's just I, I love the fact Kingpin's one of my favorite bad guys in all of Marvel. And Spider-Man's one of my favorite superheroes, so any book with both of them is just incredible. And then, <clears throat> more recent pickups, I was able to get uh, New X-Men, let's see, what number is this? Oh, 114, sorry. It's These new books, uh, I have trouble with the New X-Men. It's a uh, first appearance of Negasonic Teenage Warhead. And uh, I, I really, I haven't read it. I picked it up because it's first appearance of Negasonic Teenage Warhead and she was in Deadpool. So I picked that up. And then uh, we also have Walking Dead 100, the Todd McFarlane variant cover. And I am the biggest Todd McFarlane fan. Love Todd McFarlane. I, I know he... He messed up some things from Marvel in the 90s. I understand that image was a total failure. We've discussed this on the podcast. and But, but it doesn't change the fact that Todd does incredible work. And I, I, I love the way he, he his art. And it's just incredible. So, like I said, I'm sorry I didn't get a vlog done today. I'm sorry I didn't have a lot to do or say. But I hope looking at a few of my books makes up for that, and uh, I hope you have a great day. Please listen to the podcast, Not So Southern Gentlemen. You can find us on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher. If there's any other place you would like the RSS feed pushed, hit me up on this, and I'll get it done. Thank you, and I have you, hope you have a great day.